What's up YouTube? Henry Chung Fitness here. We are here to review the Felt IA-16. It's the 2017 model and basically I'm on my very first training ride of the season of 2023. First time out on the tri bike for this season. Yeah, it feels nice to be in the aero position. You just feel faster, especially with this aero helmet. Louis Garneau P09 TT triathlon aero helmet. So without further ado, let's show you the tri bike. All right, folks, here's the Felt IA-16. I picked this off Facebook Marketplace and I got a sweet deal for it. It's the rim brake version. The uh, rear brake is down there, as you can see, hidden from view, almost. We've got FSA BB30 crank set, 110 BCD, 170 millimeter cranks. This is the felt size 54. So I did get the 54 size. Uh, let's see if I can get a photo of that. And I've got the Adamo Prolog saddle. And that one, I do like it. You just have to be in the right position so it doesn't hurt your nuts. I've got the Profile Design bottle bracket, rear, rear mount, uh, saddle rail mount with the Gorilla X-Lab dual cages. Up here, I've got this generic Tax bottle cage, easy to remove in and out. And these are, I believe these are the, uh, I don't know, T1 Cobra bars or, or something. Profile design T1. Dura Ace bar and shifters. This is the 11 speed version. And once again, rim brake. And there's a little snail there, chilling out. How about we put him back where he belongs in the grass. We'll put him on the nice thorny bush. There you go. I think, I think he's alive. I did add a couple of my own stickers from Bike Eye Sticker. And yeah, this is a custom 3D printed uh, box. I've got a box filled with double CO2 cartridges, two tire tubes, tools to uh, do the tire change and the inflator. Right now, I'm running the Super Team 50 millimeter carbon wheel set that I've reviewed before. And this is the Speed Weapon. I do have 80 millimeter wheels, Deep Dish Elite wheel set but today I decided you know they still haven't cleaned the road so these are what I'm running uh, these are my kind of backup wheels this is the bento box not the biggest fan of this to be honest it's kind of finicky and it doesn't actually fit too much but right now I've got this isn't actually Zim I've got 250 milligrams of sodium which I need to take right now but yeah, this is the bike. This is what I rode in, oh, there's uh, the Vision brake calipers that I upgraded. So I think if you've seen my short, I did upgrade the, the bottom bracket brake. The rear brake, the Tektro stock rear brake that comes with the felt eye, definitely changed it out. That one is, there's no brake feel for it. I think it's the noodle or the way it's designed. I personally would highly recommend if you do have a rim brake version of the IA-16 to swap it out with the Ultegra BR something something. I'll, I'll put the part number down there. Um, I actually found someone who had a brand new version. They, I guess they bought the wrong version. So I got to pick that up off of Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for the Ultegra one. That one, the rear brake, you can actually feel that it's working. So highly recommended. So this is the brake that I'm talking about. Highly recommended to swap it out for this one. It really pulls really strong and it's just so much easier in terms of braking power. So much more power for braking and it's really easy to swap out just the two screws and you're good to go. 
and I'm running Garmin power meter pedals, Vector 3, dual sided. A little tape there to prevent scratching of this guy. I could just shorten it, but that's okay. But yeah, in a nutshell, this is the bike. This is what I rode last year at the Ironman 70.3 Muskoka. I was debating if I should get a road bike to ride that course, but all in all, I think the aero bike, I do like the aero bike, so, and I do really enjoy staying in the, the aero position in the cockpit, so I think I'll stick with that. So, getting down low, you can see how narrow this bike is and how aerodynamic it is. So, that's the bike. My review on it, I, it's my first tri bike, so I do enjoy it. I used to ride a Cervelo S2 with aero bars, clip on aero bars, but I found a great deal. I found this deal, so I picked this up. All in all, review, I do enjoy the ride. It's a fairly easy bike to work with, so I do enjoy that. It is rim brake. I, I enjoy rim brake. I'm not the biggest fan of disc brake, so for now, I want to continue riding rim brake. I do really enjoy the bike. It's well designed. Some of the cables I route externally because going through the the stem is not, in my opinion, it kind of uh, bends the cables too much. So not a big fan of that. But other than that, horizontal rear dropouts, finicky when you first try it for the first time. But other than that, it's all good. Really enjoy the bike. It's fast, it's aero. It's a bit on the heavier side, like I think I'd say it's about 21 pounds, I'd say. 21 or 22 pounds. But you know, once you're putting down the power and getting steady in the aero position, it goes fast, it goes really fast. So yeah, that's my review of the Felt IA. I don't think I'd change anything for the time being. Elect mechanical would be nice, DI2, but you know, it is what it is. I, I really like it for what it is. So yeah, it's a great bike. So that's the review in a nutshell. We're going to go for a ride. The training ride is about maybe an hour and a half to two hours today. I'm about 30, 33 minutes in. So yeah, it's about 16 Celsius. Going to go have a good ride. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on my triathlon training. So I've got three triathlons coming up this season. The Subaru Milton Triathlon Sprint in June, the Ironman Muskoka 73 in July, and in August we've got the Toronto Island Sprint Triathlon. Until next time, have a good one.